Let's look at making a sports design composition with a single player image. So let's make a new document. Let's go with 1080 by 1350 vertical format. And first let's drop in our player cutout. So there's a few options once you have your player cut out. Obviously this is our main image that we're gonna be working with. You can either make him relatively small or not taking up the full page of the design. If you have feet in the image, you can give that player a shadow and kind of place him in the scene standing. If you don't have the feet in the image you've chosen, you can scale him up to take up a bigger portion of the design. And then maybe you do something where you put the text in this space. You could still put like a logo or a number behind him. It's also important to look at how your cutout is oriented, what position they're in. Like the way his arms are makes this space very inviting if you move him over to the left side of the image. So for like a stats graphic, for example, I think that would make a lot of sense to put the image here. And then in this space, you could even put like a giant block and then a big number. If you had him centered, you might do something like put a big piece of text over the top of him or behind him. Again, a big logo in the background, number in the background, something like that. For this tutorial, let's shrink him down and let's give him a shadow to place him in the image, making it look like he is standing somewhere. We'll give it a background soon. I'm gonna be somewhat rough with my editing here and I'm not gonna put in a ton of time, the focus is on the composition, not the technical tools, but if you have any questions on any technical stuff I do, feel free to leave it in the comments or DM me, I will get back to you. Now for the background, let's drop in the Chicago image that I found. You could make your design without a background and just kind of keep it as like a solid color. If you didn't like white, you could change this to team color, you'd probably wanna add some texture at some point just so it's not totally flat. But for this tutorial, we're just gonna work with the Chicago image here. And I'm gonna take away some of this bottom part so we just get the buildings. I'm doing that by putting a mask on the image and masking out in black the parts of the image that we don't want. I'm also gonna set this to luminosity and let's bring the opacity down so it just kind of gives it this faded look. And I'm gonna increase the size a little bit. Maybe decre decrease the opacity a little bit more. Now let's add some blur to the background. So we're gonna do that by going up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and that's probably a little too much. But you can move this slider to blur it as much as you want. And we wanna do that to kind of imitate the idea of taking a picture of someone in focus where the background is blurred behind them. So let's bring it up to three, maybe 2.8. Feels about right. Now that we have the background in place, let's add some text to the top. So I'm gonna use my type tool to type out the player's name, Pavel Giannis. Chicago Union is the team he plays for. For the font, let's use Termina. It's a pretty good, bold, sports font that I like using. And I'm changing the weight of the Chicago Union text. It's always a good idea to have some amount of contrast when you have like a title and a subtitle. It just helps organize the hierarchy of the image to use a technical design term. And let's also drop the size of Chicago Union down a fair amount. Maybe we could space this out too, that might look decent. Nice. Now let's add a Chicago Union logo on top of the text. And I really wanna fit everything between these two buildings just because I like the way the background has laid that out for us. So everything's centered there. Let's move the background here to the right and then maybe increase the size some. There, now it feels like everything is, is fitting and everything's central, which is good. Let's add his number behind him. So I'm gonna make a new layer and type out 55. And I'm gonna pick a font that is more vertical than horizontal. So Babis is a good choice. Fix the spacing back to zero, increase the size. And maybe we change this color to their secondary color, which is this nice light blue. I'm gonna switch the blend mode to multiply as well. So we can like get some of the background showing through 
kind of a semi-transparent look. For some extra effects to this 55, let's make it a smart object by converting for smart filters. And let's add some radial blur. Radial blur is a cool effect. Make sure you have zoom selected, and then you can mess with the amount to see whatever feels right once you apply it, hit okay. And you'll see it gives it this, this zoom effect where it blurs the edges based on a midpoint of the layer. The last thing I want to do is blend in Pavel a little bit more to the background, and I'm gonna do that with a black and white adjustment layer. I'm gonna clip it to Pavel and just make some slight adjustments. And then we're gonna drag the opacity down to, I don't know, 30%. And this just desaturates the subject a little bit. I generally like to color the cutout in the same way that the background is colored. So we have a black and white background. We can make him more black and white without having him completely black and white. And it just makes him feel like he fits a little bit more. So I don't know, maybe 40% is good. Oh, and then let's add a signature. That's the last thing I have here. So I have a signature in a file here. This is another thing you can do to add some depth to just a single player image is go up to filter and blur the signature with Gaussian blur. And we're gonna blur this more than the background. 5.4, sure. And we're keeping this in front of him and we can even expand it past the size of the image. And it kind of just looks like there's a floating blurry signature that is in front of everything. Another thing we can do that's kind of bothering me is see how he's standing on just white right now. We can make him stand on grass. So I have this stadium image that I got a while back and we can make a mask of the stadium where the grass is and just make like a, basically a shadow of an oval. The same thing we would do to put under him normally, just like this one. So let's take this and command J to duplicate it. This is our shadow layer and let's expand it out a little bit and maybe a little bit up. And this is gonna be the mask of our stadium. So if you hold command and click on the layer image, you can also right click and select pixels. That's gonna select this layer. So now if we hide it and turn back on the stadium image, now we're gonna go to our mask down in the bottom right corner. And now we've masked out that oval, that blurred oval shape for the stadium image mask. And I'm gonna reduce the opacity so now we have Pavel standing on some turf in our design. We could go on and on with more details, but we'll stop here. That is a basic way you can compose an image with just a single player cutout.